Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn an important topic from mathematics that is permutation and combination for GPSTR exam 2022. Even these chapters will be useful for mental ability calculations of paper 1 and also for TET exams and central TET and also for CET exams. Okay, before beginning with the concept, I thank all my subscribers for your support. And if you're watching this video for the first time, this channel for the first time, please do subscribe and press the bell icon and also press all so that you will get the notifications of all the video we upload here related to this GPSTR exams. Okay, let's move into the topic now. Permutation and combination easy chapter only thing we have to be thorough with the basics okay basic formulae related to this topic so permutation is an orderly arrangement of objects okay since uh, most of you are watching this video are um, gpstr aspirants so i no need to go deep into the concept actually so i'll directly go if it is of for the school children we can go little more depth and explain all the concepts with the examples. So we select the important numericals and we try to solve. Okay. So always there is some questions from this for the mental ability paper one. So please pay attention. Okay. If one event occurs in m different ways and other another event occurs independently in n different ways okay there is some event occurs in n, n ways okay like this like this like m ways and also n ways then two events together can be done in m cross n or m into n in different ways so we have the main formula for that n p r for permutation we represent p for combination we write c okay remember that n p r is equal to n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 goes on up to the last term n minus r plus 1 and the main formula for n p r is equal to n factorial this exclamatory mark this is like um, this is called as factorial n factorial divided by n minus r factorial condition is here both n and r are positive integers if n is greater than or equal to r in that case we can use this formula suppose in place of r we have n so n p n is equal to n factorial itself okay and np0 the value of np0 is 1 and the value of 0 factorial is 1 this we will be using while substituting for the descriptive type answers then n factorial by n minus 1 factorial is equal to n np1 value is n remember np0 is 1 np1 is n if r is equal to 1 okay so these are the main formulae we are going to use in this chapter. Okay, let's move into the sums now. These kind of small ones will be asked for multiple choice questions. Okay, so I am taking up even the basics also so that it will be helpful for biological science students, aspirants also, those who are preparing for TET and uh, CET exams and also um, this kind of questions you can expect in mental ability in paper 1 okay permutation and combination type of questions are there in that paper also we shall learn now evaluate 6 factorial how do we read this as this is factor this exclamatory mark is read as factorial okay so 6 factorial is written as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 start from 6 it has to 
followed by the continuous numbers and ends by 1 and multiply all this number you will get the answer if it is 4 factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 multiply these numbers and you will get the answer if it is 7 factorial by 5 factorial if you have to solve it evaluate means you have to solve it to get the final answer so if you come across like this kind of factorials in numerator and denominator check out with the denominator first and here they in, have given 5 factorial so if this number is smaller than the numerator then you can stop here numerator is factorial up to equal to this number so 7 into 6 into um, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is how we write the 7 factorial but from 5 to 1 you can express as 5 factorial no need of writing all this number continuously hence we have written 7 factorial as 7 into 6 into 5 factorial denominator divided by 5 factorial this 5 factorial 5 factorial get cancels multiply 7 6 uh, and that is the answer if it is 12 factorial divided by 9 factorial into 3 factorial expand this 12 factorial but check out with the denominator first here the highest number is 9 so in order to cancel this highest number you have to stop this number for this 9 so this 12 factorial can be written as 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 factorial don't forget to write this factorial that is important divided by write this 9 factorial as it is so that we can uh, cancel this numerator and denominator with the same that is the reason we have otherwise no problem you can expand and you can cancel that takes time ok little shortcuts we can go with and 3 factorial is written as 3 into 2 into 1 so 9 factorial 9 factorial get cancels and again further you can solve 3 1s are 3 4s are 12 2 1s are 2 2s are 4 so multiply this numbers you will get this answer convert the following into factorials see here then they have given the continuous factors multiplication the product of factors we have to express in factorial you see 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 so you come in the reverse order so you can write as 7 factorial if it is given 9 uh, 6 into 7 into 8 into 9 so it does, uh, does not end with 1 ok so what you can do is wh whichever the number it starts with you write that number as factorial 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 after 5 it is missing so minus of that actually we don't write minus of that we write by division of that ok hence we get 9 factorial by 5 factorial suppose you write 5 factorial here this 2 will get cancelled and then this number you will get it for 9 factorial up to 1 ok so this is the solution for this evaluate n factorial by n minus r factorial when n is equal to 15 and r is equal to 12 so what are given n value and r value substitute for the above formula n factorial is 15 so 15 factorial divided by 15 minus r value is 12 12 factorial and then so 15 minus 12 is 3 so you can write as 3 factorial and this 15 write as it is what is 15 va factorial value so yeah, you have to start from 15 and end with 1 with multiplication but denominator you have to check out that is 3 factorial so stop here for 3 factorial 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 since it's a long number put dash 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 and up to 3 factorial you can write divided by 3 factorial this 3 factorial 3 factorial get cancels you can multiply all this number and write but multiplication of these many numbers 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 takes a long process so you can stop here only okay usually they may not ask for this such a big number but if at all ask you can stop here hmm? okay find the LCM of 4 factorial 5 factorial and 6 factorial so let us check it out for this number to find the LCM uh, from the among the given number you check the least number and you stop the above numbers um, factorial for the least numbers to match up with that so if you take this 4 factorial you can write as 4 factorial for 5 factorial you can write 5 into 4 factorial 
for 6 factorial 6 into 5 into 4 factorial in order to find the common factor hence common factor of all these three is 4 factorial is common in all the three write 4 factorial once into 5 factorial so not 5 factorial it is 5 5 is common in only this two so write that 5 what is left 6 is left 6 is not common in any of the uh, uh, lines so uncommon factor is 6 okay so to find the LCM the formula is common factor into uncommon factors so the common factors are 4 factorial into 5 into uncommon is 6 4 factorial expand 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into the above 5 and 6 right as it is multiply all this number you will get as 720 this is the answer let's move into the next sum if n plus 1 factorial is equal to 12 of n minus 1 factorial find the value of n okay keeping in mind the biological science students also we go a little slowly with the basics okay already for math students these things will be easy you can just recall for biological science students you have to learn the little tricks and the easy methods so this is the question and now if it is given in n terms how to write any number if they are given we write that same number and for that number we subtract 1 for the next number following number we subtract 1 and again subtract 1 up to 1 we go right same way if they are given like this n plus 1 for n plus 1 first number write as it is here 4 factorial is given as so 4 we have written as it is next number will be for this n plus 1 we have to subtract 1 means minus 1 here plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled so second number will be n next for the third number for the second number you have to minus 1 so for n put minus 1 that will be the third number it follows like that only but in the sum we are checking out with this n minus 1 factorial and we stop here in order to simplify it okay that is a required one these are by practice we will get okay is equal to 12 of n minus 1 factorial so here right hand side n minus 1 factorial if it goes to the denominator of the left hand side this and this will get cancelled we get n plus 1 of n is equal to 12 so now we have to multiply n into n is n square and 1 into n is n only plus into plus is plus only which is equal to 12 this 12 you take to the left hand side becomes minus 12 we get an equation like this this we have to factorize whenever you get some number of this form a square plus a plus some term uh, some number if you get we have to factorize this how to factorize you consider the last numeral with the sign multiply this with the square of this numbers numeral here there is one one n square so one into minus 12 is minus 12 only this minus 12 you have to factorize take the factors so you can write this as 12 ones are okay but when you multiply you have to get as 12 minus 12 and when you add or subtract these two numbers you have to get this middle number this number that is 1 here 1 n you have to get as 1 so 12 minus 1 if you take also you take you will get as 11 only okay uh, 12 plus 1 if you get you will go to 13 so all the possible answers you have to check it and then we go for this values 4 3 is a 12 you put plus for the 4 because we have to get the positive value when you add or subtract so to add or subtract with different signs you have to put the positive number here related to this numbers basics uh, we have already uploaded video please check our description box it is from the basic concept of uh, number system it is given there I have explained there so plus 4 and minus 3 4 3 is a 12 plus into minus is minus how to write this write n square as it is instead of this n you write plus 4n minus 3n and write last number as it is minus 12 is equal to 0 and 
from this two you can take the common factor here n square plus 4 n n is the common factor and if you take n from n square if you take out n n remains n plus from this 4 and n you have taken out already n only 4 remains okay minus 3 of here oh sorry how to take this common factor here minus 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 is the common you can take it out here 3 is is given in 12 do we have 3 yes so 4 3 is a 12 we can write so you can take out 3 common and what is remaining if you take out minus 3 minus 3 is taken out so n is remaining and here you have taken out already minus so you have plus there inside and you have taken out 3 so 4 is remaining 4 so n plus 4 all at, at last you have to get this n plus 4 and n plus 4 as common okay this by practice you get already you have learned in your 10 standards of your school days biology students please practice this for math science students easy for you so no problem now again n plus 4 and n plus 4 is common here and what is remaining this n plus 4 and n plus 4 write once and remaining n minus 3 write as it is inside the bracket is equal to 0 now for this each number you can equate to 0 n minus 3 is equal to 0 or n plus 4 is equal to 0 therefore n is equal to 3 or n is equal to plus 4 going to the other side gives us minus 4 so this is the answer don't forget to write this r here either this value now and this value either this or that now simplify n plus 1 factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial of n minus 1 so you can expand this term again to cancel some terms here we have in the denominator up to n minus 2 factorial so this factorial can be expressed like in the previous you have seen here how we expanded n plus 1 factorial as n plus 1 n n minus 1 and up to n minus 2 factorial you can write n minus 2 factorial denominator write as it is this n minus 2 n minus 2 factorial get cancelled n minus 1 n minus 1 cancels only remaining term is this n plus 1 into n you can multiply and keep the answer also and these type of questions also will be asked for multiple choice evaluate 12 p 4 if it is 12 p 4 it is 12 factorial by 12 minus 4 factorial what is 12 factorial 12 into 11 to 10 it goes up to but we have to check it out 12 minus 4 is 8 here so we have to check it out with the denominator up to 8 factorial you can stop so 12 into 11 to 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 8 factorial cancel this to multiply the remaining number that will be the answer if it is given 8 p 8 so you can write 8 factorial by 8 minus 8 factorial n factorial by n minus r factorial this is the n value this is the r value so 8 minus 8 is 0 factorial 8 uh, 0 factorial value is 1 on the numerator you have to write an x um, multiply all these numbers that will be the answer if it is given 35 p 0 if you get r value as 0 okay in any permutation so the answer will be 1 okay 35p0 is, is equal to 1 okay so we will continue the remaining sums in the next video so keep uh, watching so you will get the notifications of the video as we post so those who have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and if you like this video please give a thumbs up okay don't forget to give a thumbs up so that it will encourage us so we can make sure that you really like our videos okay give feedbacks if you have any issues you can comment in the comment box okay